why current is slowed down at the junction of atria and ventricle at the point of AV node? Why current is slowed down? Why velocity of depolarization becomes slow? There is a reason for that. Because now atria are contracting. If current is held in AV node or stopped in AV node for a while, that is good. So that atria complete their contraction and fill the ventricles. Only when atria has completed their contraction, then electrically ventricles should be stimulated so that ventricles start contracting. Is that right? First atria should contract, after that ventricles should contract. Due to that reason, when atria are electrically stimulated, right, current is passed through the AV node very, very slowly down to the ventricle. Is that right? So, AV node is specialized in slow conduction. AV node is specialized in slow conduction. Now, how AV node is specialized in slow conduction? There are many reasons. Number one, let's suppose we talk about two tissues in the heart. Number one, AV node which is specialized in slow conduction and later on, later on I will explain this is Purkinje system. And this Purkinje system, right bundle branch and left bundle branch and its Purkinje fibers, this is also a specialized myocardial cells and this tissue is specialized in fast conduction. Again, AV node is specialized in slow conduction and bundle branches and their Purkinje fibers are specialized in fast conduction. Why this is specialized in slow conduction? So that current from it while it is jumping from atria to the ventricle, it should be held here for a while until atria complete their contraction. And why after that when current from AV node is released into ventricle, why in the ventricle there is a very fast conducting tissue? Because all the ventricle should get electrical stimulation at almost simultaneous time so that septum of the ventricle, major part of the ventricle and basal part of the ventricle, all of them contract at almost simultaneous time so that there should be effective ventricular output. Is that right? Now, why AV node is slow conductor and why Purkinje system is fast conduction? Let me tell you. Let us suppose AV node is 0.1 to 0.2 and Purkinje fibers are, this is Purkinje tissue, it has cells and these are Purkinje cells, these three cells I show, these are for example from 0.3 to 0.4, right? Now, this tissue is slow conductor, right? And this is Purkinje system which is, yes please, fast conductor. Why AV node is slow? Because number one, AV node has very, very small cells. And these cells are arranged in such a way that cells are not, you can say, listen again, these are AV nodal cells. AV node has lot of cells, but these are very small cells. And these cells are arranged right angle to the direction of current flow. This is Purkinje system. Current has to move in this direction. Let's suppose depolarization has to move in this direction and in this direction. Now, in AV nodal, there are many cells and small cells. In Purkinje system, there are large cells and less cells. So, because point A to point 2, right, there are more cells involved, so more membranes to be crossed, so it is slow conduction. Here there are large cells and there are less cells involved, so less membranes involved in electrical event, so conduction will be fast. This is one reason. Second reason is the gap, number of gap junctions between the AV nodal cells are very, very less, but number of gap junctions between Purkinje cells are too much. So we can say that electrical windows between the AV nodal cells are very few, but electrical windows between the Purkinje cells are too many. So naturally current will conduct from one cell to the next cell slowly in AV nodal system, but current will conduct from one cell to the next cell very fastly in Purkinje system. Is that right? Then another thing, AV node depolarization is dependent on calcium and depolarization in Purkinje system is dependent on sodium. Calcium channel works slowly, sodium channels work 
fastly. So in AV node, yes, current movement is slow and in case of Prakenja system, current movement is fast. Then the most and another important point, AV node cells are less diameter cells, right? So they offer more resistance to the current movement. But Prakenja cells are wide diameter because they are very wide diameter. So even within the cell, the current has less resistance to the movement. So current moves fastly. And now we come to the most important point. What is the most important point? That this is slow conductor and that is fast conductor is that AV nodal cell resting membrane potential is minus 60 millivolt. But Purkinje system cell has a resting membrane potential of minus 90 millivolt. So which cell is more electronegative? AV nodal cell or Purkinje cell? Purkinje cell is more electronegative. Now, if cations Cations have to move into AV nodal cell as well as cations have to move in Purkinje cells. Where the cations will move very rapidly in the cell which is more electronegative because this is the electronegativity of the cell which attracts the cations during depolarization. So depolarizing current in AV node are slow and depolarizing current in Purkinje system are fast. So due to all these factors combined together, AV node is a very specialized in very, very slow conduction and Purkinje system is specialized in very, very fast conduction. So, once you have understood this, now we come back to the next electrical event, right? First electrical event was, yes please, what was first electrical event? That was atrial depolarization and let me draw a heart here. Okay, let me draw a smaller heart. Yeah. Right? This is the fibrous septum between the or annulus. Now, what is here? This is left ventricle and this is right ventricle, right? And here is your friend SA node. Is that right? The first electrical event was that SA node produced the depolarization and there was atrial depolarization and atrial depolarization was represented by a small vector, depolarizing vector moving downward and leftward with modest velocity. Now the second important event is, yes, current passing through AV node. This is the second electrical event. I told you that AV node is a fast conductor or slow conductor? It is extremely slow conductor. This is point number one and point number two. As compared to the rest of the heart, AV node is a large tissue or small tissue? small tissue. If you know it is a very tiny myocardial tissue, very small tissue. So, when current is moving through the AV node, do you think AV nodal depolarization will produce a very big vector or very small vector? It will make a very small vector, right? Because AV node is a very tiny myocardial tissue. So, when depolarizing current is passing through the AV node, number one, that current is passing through very, very slowly. And number two, that AV node is a very tiny tissue, very small tissue. So electrical vector is very, very small when AV node is undergoing depolarization process. And because the electrical vector is very small, that ECG machine will not pick that up. When ECG machine does not pick the electrical activity of AV node, right? So Actually, for practical purposes, when a very miniature depolarization is passing through AV node, heart is electrically silent. You get it? You say that AV node just whispers, it does not talk. And our machine cannot hear AV nodal electrical activity. So we can 